Well, it's almost here, right? The flowers, the, the, the wildflowers on the desert are my favorite time of the year in Arizona by far. Uh, if you're like me, Lynn and I kind of arrange our calendars. If we hear the flowers are popping down at Picacho Peak, we find an excuse to go get the, a hike there. And if we find out that they're happening at the Superstition Mountains, man, we take off. Because what do we know? It's super, super short. The, the yellows, the whites, and the purples all will be looking beautiful one day on the desert floor. And then the heat comes, they fade, they fall, and we're lovely brown again. So the, uh, the verses today are in James chapter 1, verses 9 through 11. And this week we studied about money. I suspect that the geography of Arizona was similar to the geography that's going on in, in James's area. So there's a lesson that's taught to us about those, those wildflowers. So, so let's, let's read up on that. Believers who are poor have something to boast about, for God has honored them. And those who are rich should boast that God has humbled them. They will fade away like the little flower in the field. The hot sun rises, the grass withers, the little flower droops and falls, and its beauty fades away. In the same way, the rich will fade away with all their achievements. So if you're like me, two things came to mind, right? Mufasa from The Lion King and a long, long rope uh, with a little red dot at the end of it. No? Not so much? Okay. So when, um, when my kids were going into independence where they could drive their own car and they could say, hey, Dad, I'm going to go out with my friends. Uh, don't wait up. I would always quote the Lion King, uh, remember who you are. You know, in my best James Earl Jones voice, remember who you are. And uh, go enjoy yourself, right? I believe when he talks about the poor should boast, we should always say, remember who you are. You are a son of the king. And you can boast about that, right? And then like also, uh, if you've ever seen the demonstration of our life relative to eternity, there's, there's a common one where they'll have this long rope. It goes around the auditorium. It'll go out the door, down the street forever. And at the very tip, usually where the speaker is, there's a little, little piece of red. And they'll say, that red represents our life here on earth. The rest of the white rope represents eternity. So yes, where we live and what we live right now seems very big, but in light of eternity, very small. And that is the lesson of the flower, right? The flower is very brief. It can be very beautiful, but in light of things, it can be very brief. It's only for a flashing moment. And the lesson for the poor is remember who you are. You're a son of the king and life can be brief. And like so, I believe the, the lesson for the rich, it says um, those who are rich, God has humbled them. Remember that the gifts are from the king. We should be humbled that we are, we are honored to have these gifts. And likewise, we should remember that, guess what? Even though you have these gifts and you will be on account on how you spend and use these gifts, um, life is very short. We do not know how much time we have, but relative to eternity, the oldest man alive is nothing compared to, to eternity. I recently heard a, a, a man interviewed who was close to 100, and they said, you've lived through so many things, man on the moon, uh, just electric cars, you name it. What was some of the most fascinating, surprising things that happened in your lifetime? And his answer was, well, one of the things has got to be people paying for bottled water, right? Because if you think about it, even though we might at any given time in our life identify with the poor in this, in this verse, uh, we are all very rich. I mean, relative to all time, um, heck, uh, air conditioning wasn't that common not long ago. Most of us have air conditioning. Most of us have, a, if you're listening to this, you're probably on a mobile device. Uh, or some kind of internet wasn't around. So 
even though it's easy for us at any given moment to identify with poor, that's because we're comparing ourselves to people that are much rich. If we compare ourselves to eternity, mo we can say, wow, we have been blessed beyond measure and we are very rich. So these are good times to be al alive in, even though it can be crazy. So the lesson is the same for both those who are, who are poor and, and those who are rich. They just have to be uh, aware that this time can be very short. Let's pray this up. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you that living here in Arizona, we can see this lesson so clear. We can see the beautiful flowers pop up off of the desert floor and then us be busy for the weekend and see them gone by the sun. Knowing that life can be fleeting, all the beauty can be gone and we should appreciate it while it is here. Lord, you've blessed many of us with, with, with riches. Comparative to other generations, we are rich, Lord, and we know we will be in account for that. Lord, give us the wisdom to use that wisely, as well as the time you've given us. Let us, let us use that wisely to glorify you, because all, all things are from you, Lord, and we thank you. So, Lord, we give you this day that you have given us, and we ask you to, Bless it in your name. In Jesus' name, amen.